I have another huge Timu haul for you guys. I will first go through the ones that belong to my mom for you guys. She decided to give me all of hers to show you as well as flatten. <laughs> Yes, still going. I don't know how many there is here. There is a lot. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Do we think there's enough paintings yet? <laughs> oh, I think we both need uh, Diamond Painters AA or something. Look at that. So. Let's get this big one out of the way. And we'll do the small ones last. That sounds okay with everybody. Although it doesn't, you guys don't really have a choice, do you? Since this is pre-recorded, you have no say. I'm doing them in the order I'm doing them in. <laughs> Alrighty. So, this first one, I can see a little bit of a wolf here. It doesn't have a thumbnail in the corner. This is a 40 by 40. Sorry about the air condition, by the way. I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video. I have the air condition running. It's 82 in here with the air condition running. I'm not turning the air condition off. I am sorry if you guys hear it. As long as you can hear me, hopefully you can, then we're good. So, oh, they do have the icons just on the opposite corner of what was showing. So we got this pretty lady. And she's holding a little baby wolf. And has another wolf next to her. I'm a little curious about this really light splash of like yellow color here versus the skin tone here and the darker shaded skin tone here. Again, some of that does look quite different with the drills on it than the drill area, but that's something you won't know unless you see a finished painting. She doesn't look bad. My mom didn't realize that it was a 40 by 40 again though, I don't think. Because she doesn't tend to like doing the bigger paintings. And she's like, she tried to give it to me as one of mine. It's like, I think I see a wolf on here. <laughs> I do have some wolf paintings, but I didn't know of any that I want it right now. So. She has blues and purple brown gray colors to her this light is reflecting badly last time I thought that I changed it and realized I didn't have to we will do this hopefully that will work for you guys so Can you see the color palette? Alright, so she's our first girl. She has 25 colors. It does have your dummy circles. Training wheels again, whatever you guys call them. Alright. Next one. Um. Okay, so this one's a little fox. I've been looking at this painting and seeing it. I'm I'm questioning it. It's like it looks pretty at the same time. Do you think it'll turn out? Because I'm thinking about getting one of these as well. 
However, it also looks like it might not turn out as well as I would like it to. Again, my standards are higher than some people's. A lot of the paintings my mom's done that she likes, I don't think are good enough. So, I'm just attracted to, you know, slightly larger canvases. And then this one looks like we might lose its leg right here in the chest and this leg here looks like they might be kind of muddy and might get lost a little bit the face looks like it should be pretty good though so this one isn't bad for some people and other people might say they want more detail than this it again does have the dummy circles though so it might look a little bit better finished because i know those kind of muddy it up a little bit it has 23 colors I didn't show you the colors, did I? Sorry. I went and put them away without showing them to you. So, you got dark blues, light blues, baby blues, some creams, a little bit of pink and purple, browns, greens. not a bad little canvas if you're viewing it from further away like you're supposed to probably would look great um you guys have already seen this one if you've watched my timu videos that is i shouldn't really say something expecting you guys have all seen all of my videos like that's not right of me to suggest so i should say i have opened her before Again, she has a very dark color palette. I mean, there's some green and orange and yellow in there, but they look like they're the normal green, orange, and yellow, and everything else is like darker hues, so. She's not a very light painting. Sorry, I'm just verifying that I know the codes for these paintings are on the drills, because I didn't check that. And they're not mine, so if they're not on there, and my mom has to try to figure out which one goes to which one, and I don't want to do that to her. If I do that to myself, then I do that to myself. And I have done it to myself. I have a box of drills right now that I either didn't print a label off for when I printed all my labels off, or the painting's number does not match numbers on drills or something because I don't have them labeled and put away. They're sitting to get a label that right now just doesn't exist. <laughs> Did I, I, I didn't show you guys a close-up of her. I'm sorry, I'm doing this really horribly for you guys right now. So she has 22 colors. This again, to me, looks like it's gonna be quite muddy in this size painting. My mom's like, what's with the black over her face? It's like that's her hair <laughs> she has long hair draped over her face so again that probably will look better once it's painted but she does look like for the jewelry she would look better in a larger canvas again i hope the air condition isn't too loud but i am not turning it off right now so i got this kitty for both of us because it kind of goes with the other two that we have They don't want to they don't want to stay up and let you look at them so we have a peach orange creams grays greens blacks whites browns orangish colors and you're looking at a tiger so i'm guessing what you expect Alrighty. So this is a cute little 30 by 30 square and I do believe it's a 25 by 25.
it's a 24 by 24 so a little bit smaller than I expected but it's, and it's one of these again do you guys see how hard this is to pull off <laughs> Now, if I lay it back down, is it going to be all right or is it going to be hard to pull off again? Because some of them, they're just hard to pull off the first time like that. Um, I think I saw, heard somebody say something about them, like maybe sticking this on while it was still warm and that's what caused it to be so... Nope. Nope. That is stuck on there good. Oh boy. Out of curiosity, if I stick this other side to it, the other side sticks bad too. All right. So this is going in the trash. I am sorry, not doing it. So we're going to grab out my parchment paper. Trust the old parchment paper to the rescue. And we're going to go ahead and lay that on our kitty cat. Actually, because I'm doing it this way, here you guys go. Cute little kitty cat, 24 colors. excess off up here not a very straight cut but it is something that'll work that's all that matters so again we have the little kitty cat all right next up oh We're looking at this little doll brats like thing. Hang on. What are you chewing on? <sighs> Have dogs will get distracted. <laughs> so on to the next painting. Again, she's a little kind of chubby headed doll thing with the dragon. It kind of reminds me of like the Bratz or uh, there was another one like a My something or something wasn't there. I don't know when my sister was a kid she used to have dolls with big heads and slender bodies. They weren't your Barbies. They were like Bratz and this other thing. I think their hands and feet popped off and stuff like that to change out their shoes. But anyway. We have this nice pop of purple, quite a bit of black, greens, and like another kind of purplish color, and blues, and a little bit of browns. And this is Wild 6 9. She looks pretty nice, actually. I mean, she's not my style, but I like the colors in her, and she looks like she'll turn out really pretty. So, anybody that's interested in this, I give it the go-ahead. And the plastic just ripped. You guys ever have plastic rip like this? Fun. Hopefully it's still covering the full paint thing and we won't have to do anything about it. Yep, it's covering. We're good. So. She has 17 colors. Cute little dragon, little doll girl. I kind of wish her eyes were a little more visible, honestly. But maybe just throw in some rhinestones. Maybe remove a little bit of this black to put a few more blues. But. She looks pretty. The dragon even looks like it's going to turn out pretty well. So I do like this. If 
again, I was into that style. I'm not, but I do like it for what it is. This one we both have. My mom bought this for both of us. There was only only like two or three left and we had to have it so she bought this. I knew she bought this. It's Gizmo! <laughs> I actually rewatched these movies recently. It's these little individual white bags. <sighs> They're not as bad as those really tiny bags but they're not connected to each other so again you can't just go down the chain it takes longer but you do get your printed key for it 20 colors the little gizmo how many of you guys remember watching gizmo Again, they'd consider it an older show at this point. But I was surprised with how quickly they consider shows older. It's like, if it's past five, ten years old, it's an old show. It's like, that feels like it was just yesterday. You really calling that an old show already? So, yeah. That's fun. Kind of makes you feel old when you realize that they're calling stuff old when it's only like five years old. <laughs> And I know a lot of you guys are actually older than I am, based off of the analytics. I have very little audience my age or under, it seems like. So we got the little gizmo. It does have your drum, your dummy drill circle, guidelines, whatever. It has 20 colors. But that's a cutie. It looks pretty cute. Maybe could look a little better, but not bad. This one is another one I have that my mom decided she wanted as well. So again, some of you guys might have already seen this one. I was talking about how I kind of wish this part of the face was also more visible. I would have rather this part not been as shadowed. So we got dark blues, lighter blues, dark red, white, just every color of blue you can imagine in here. Some brown there. So that's this one's color. So I do try to cut it out if I'm opening a pack of drills and rearranging them and folding the plastic up again so you don't have to listen to all of that. I don't know, it seems like some people might not like it. And so I don't know if I want to just talk over it with you guys or if I'd just rather cut it out. So I've been cutting some pieces out where I have to rearrange drills in their packet. So this guy has 22 colors. Nice clear drill zone. Again, I wish some stuff was a little different about it, but it is a pretty canvas and it looks really nice, easy to read to put the drills on. It's what it's supposed to be. This one, I've wanted and haven't got and then she got so she just bought this one for me so we'll both have it so we have oranges and greens and reds peaches and creams some purples in here pretty colors for a pretty little sheep dog and it's sheep so cute it has 26 colors cool it does look like it has a little bit of wrinkles to it so hopefully this canvas will straighten out nicely when it's put under weight because there definitely seems to be a good amount of bumps to this right now
As long as I didn't create any air pockets in here, we're good. All right. But can you see the wavy wrinkle here, 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 and slightly here? So this canvas was a little beat up, but hopefully it will stretch flat once it's laid under weight. It is really cute. Look at that. Gorgeous little puppy. Again, it doesn't have eyes. They're just black spots, which is part of why I like bigger canvases. You can really see this crease right here in the camera. Little sheep, which should have black eyes. So, you know, that one looked okay. And these pretty flowers up here. I should know what type of flower that is, but I don't. <laughs> again, 26 colors for this. And again, it looks like a very nice drill area. Alrighty.